bodyguard? I work for the hardest gangsters in the world. Key Lolo, Shinobi. Hey, I still work for Tupac even though he dead. I am Israeli military secret service. Oh, damn! I'll go beat their ass right here, right now. Look no further. I'm Drillbit Taylor. As a bodyguard, I've protected three vice presidents, Bobby Brown and Sylvester Stallone. Not quite as tough as he looks. Who do you guys need protection from? Just a high school bully. Help me! You know what this is? It's a wing, and you're under it. All three of you, right there. This is very disturbing. This is my review for Drillbit Taylor, released in 2008. Yet another film from the Apatow crew. I really enjoyed Knocked Up, Superbad and seriously underrated Walk Hard. I'm also a big fan of Owen Wilson. So, I tried to ignore a lot of the negative stuff I'd heard about this film and go into it with an open mind. The main problem with Drillbit Taylor in my eyes is twofold. Its main characters, the high school kids who employ Drillbit, are shockingly similar to the Superbad characters. And number two, and this kind of plays into the first point, Drillbit is rated PG-13 in America, compared to Superbad's R rating. This would be fine if the characters weren't so alike, so what you get is a strong feeling of this just being a pale, weak version of Superbad. Superbad light, if you will which I think backfired more given the fact that Superbad was out not that long ago. So, two very alike products out not so long after each other is going to beg comparisons. I'm getting the feeling Apatow is maybe churning out too many of them, using his marketing ploy off from the Apatow team, even if he was just the guy handing out the coffee. Of course, I joke that's a joke, but it works and people go see it. Owen Wilson is solid in the film. I was also impressed by Nate Hartley as Wade. Also, not really a plus or a negative, just a surprise, was how hard hitting the fight scenes between the bullies were. Genuinely tough looking punches. I didn't see the point of the character of Emmett. He only had a few funny moments, but you already had two characters who were longtime friends, like Evan and Seth from Superbad. And it's not like Emmett had his own story narrative going on, like Fogel and the cops in Superbad. I would like to credit performers Alec Frost and Josh Peck, Frost in particular, who gave solid turns as the bullies. I kind of wish Peck had, a, had more of a role in it though, as I've been a fan of him since his amazing performance in the 2004 film Mean Creek. There was definitely some funny stuff here. The rap scene, the sword scene, and Owen Wilson, of course, added a lot of the comedy to the film. All in all, it just feels like you've seen it before. Super bad aside, it has a, it's just a little plain. It gets wrapped up all nice at the end and doesn't really attempt to be edgy. However, I did like it more than most, it seems, as I felt there were some solid comedic scenes in there, along with great performances from Wilson, Hartley and Frost. It's not great, but it's not bad. It's a good, if somewhat, uneventful comedy move.